Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Okay, so it's been a while. Um, I've been up to a few different things, um, but today we're just going to be having a look at this radio control car here. Right, so it's a it's based on a T, uh, Tamiya TTO one. So most of the parts are sort of um, compatible between both, uh, like some of these arms and stuff. Uh, obviously, suspension, these kind of uh, diff covers here. They're, they're all kind of the same. Drive shafts. Uh, they're like the modern TTO one. Um, they're a little bit shorter, kind of chunkier as well. Right, so as it comes, it doesn't come with these wheels and doesn't come with a motor, it doesn't come with a speed controller, servo. So you're basically getting a rolling chassis. Right, so as I say, these wheels, they didn't come with it. Um, these are the original wheels that came with it. So they got quite soft, grippy tires, uh, shiny black plastic. Um, but because I'm just testing this out for the first time today, I want to try and use these semi-drift tires just so there's not too much load. I might be able to see if there's anything wrong with it. So just for like a safety test, really. Okay, so for this, we got a something like a 4,000 kV brushless motor. And we got a 3S LiPo. So it's not the biggest kind of battery pack, but it's only a small car, it should be fine. So, yep, there is no, no battery case. So this is a 3D printed one. Fits in there quite nice. Um, I'll put a link to the files in the description. So we just have the battery slides in there. Um, and it's pretty much good to go. All right, so just before we go out and test it, I'll just give you a quick update for the things I've been doing. So here is a radio control car I've been building. It is a drill car powered by a cordless drill. So it's quite a long story how that is. Um, this is again part of it here. So you can see it's got diffs, it's got some suspension, but I'm gonna make a whole video about that, so we'll leave that for now. And we've also got a hoverboard car mark too. So this is an old printer. So we got the screen here, touch screen, um, well, a few little things inside, <clears throat> and four hoverboard wheels, all with uh, tough suspension. So I haven't wired this up yet, that's why it's still here. Um, but yeah, one day. Right, so let's get outside and see what this thing can do. Right, so here, this is where we're gonna be testing today. We've got the car, looks like a nice day. The only thing is, there isn't a skate park here anymore. There used to be all these ramps, you've probably seen in some of my other videos. But yeah, this is all that's left. They are supposed to be building a new skate park sometime, but I still haven't seen it. Hopefully, like, hopefully this year we'll get one. Um, this new skate park is supposed to be covering all of this and all of that field as well, so it should be pretty good. Right, so we can get a better view of it outside. Um, it's much a bit lighter, so you can see, um, you can see all this stuff a little bit better. So it looks like fairly decent quality stuff. Like this top piece and and this bottom piece, all carbon fiber. And they've got all like nice countersink black alloy bolts. Looks quite tidy. <clears throat> so most of these cars, they're normally like shelf cars, aren't they? Like this one, I've probably had it for about a year and it's just been sat on my shelf. So it's about time I tried it out. Right, so we're powered up, fans running, beeps are going. Forwards, it's forwards. All right, so it's got loads of power. We got practically zero traction. Um, I'm just going to drive it up, drive it back, see how fast I can get to come past the camera. Thing is nuts. I don't know if you can tell by the video. I'm only putting a tiny little bit of throttle on it. It's just wheel spinning and four wheels. It's surprising how smooth it is. That 
put in the place to have dinner. Right, it's always risky with that if the lipo comes out and pops. No, loads of trouble. It's funny, these dips, they aren't even locked up either. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go home, change the wheels, kind of put something that's got a bit more grip on, and then we might actually be able to do a speed test without it spinning around. I'll just show you quick, these wheels, they're, um, they're actually 3D printed. So they're in two halves, you print out the back half and the front half. See these black ones, they look quite cool. Yeah, these wheels, they're not, they're not even drift wheels. They've actually got rubber tires, it's just kind of hard rubber. So for it to be that slippy with them, you know, I think it's probably going to drift with these soft rubber wheels as well. Either drift or it's going to flip over. So we're going to have to do something about this battery as well, just to make sure that that doesn't fly out. So if that flies out at like say 40, 50 miles an hour and scrapes along the floor, it's probably going to be good for nothing after. Right, so that's all four wheels done. Almost good to go. You just need to secure the battery in a little bit. Okay, so best thing obviously would be to put some little spaces on here, on these little visor things, and then put a pin through it to hold this in place. And then probably have some sort of lid thing that screws on top. But I haven't got time for that. Today we're just testing it out. We're making sure everything works and that it's good. And uh, if anybody wants to buy one of these, they know that they're not gonna be wasting the money. So I think they're actually pretty good. So yeah, we're just gonna I'm just gonna do this, and then hopefully that will stop the battery falling out. There you go, perfect. Cool, looks good. And the test, put upside down, and the battery didn't fall out, so that means it's perfect. Right, so back to the skate park. Right, so here we are again in the not skate park with the grippy wheels. Hopefully we'll have a better run this time. Right, let's see what it can do. Okay, looks like we've already got a problem. <coughs> One of the tyres has come off. And it wasn't even going that fast that time. Right, we're gonna go fast, plant in the corner, and see how many tyres fall off in the first time.
Yeah, yeah that. So we got two tires and I don't know where they're gone now. Right, here we go, let's see them. So yeah, we only went really fast, turned a little bit, two of these tires straight off. And another tire is coming off. And this tire is practically off. Right, so these are the wheels that came in the car. So you'd think that they would be kind of almost ready to go, really, wouldn't you? Right, I've got some more grippy wheels. We'll go home and switch out the wheels again. Okay, so let's have a look in the wheel box and see what we got. There's got to be something suitable. So these ones aren't too bad, but I think these tyres will fly off as well. Um, these ones... These are thing, I think these ones are stuck on quite well. So it might have to be these. Okay, so it looks like I've mostly got just drift wheels. Um, right, we're gonna put these wheels on. Not really the best sort of wheels for like just flat road, but it'll be okay. Um, there is that field next to it, so I suppose we can try them in the field as well. Um, if it's all good on the uh, on the tarmac. All right, so just put these on quick. Okay, and these new wheels are on. No, they seem all right. I think they're a little bit bigger than the other ones. So if anything, it'll probably make it go even faster, hopefully. Not that we know how fast it goes because we can't go in a straight line, but you never know. Third time lucky. All right, let's go. All right, so third time lucky. Hopefully this one's all right. Radio on. Car on. Okay. Right, so we're going to do the same as last time, just do full throttle straight off, see how far it goes. Hopefully no tyres come up. So this is going to be a good test. Um, we've got a bit of a grass hill here, big gap, and a metal fence. Right, I'm going to see if I can jump over to get it. Jump over the fence. Okay, so I'm not sure if we got any of that. It's, it tried to do it, it flipped over, and. Uh, Unfortunately, this happened. So there is a problem with the steer and it is turning a little bit to the right and I've got maximum setting pointing it the other way. Let's turn that off. It was quite a flip. I'm not sure if it got caught on the camera. Hopefully it did. Um, yeah, so take it these shafts aren't very strong. Um, it's a shame because I was kind of looking forward to trying it out in that field over there. But never mind. At least we got some sort of gold now. So this is going to be a future thing. We've got to jump that one day. We've got to jump this jump this fence into the field because that'll be so cool. Right, so that's it for this part of the video. There isn't really much I can do now until I fix this um, fix this wheel mount mount shaft, which is a bit annoying. 
I might, I might be able to just bend it back in place, but chances are it might snap off. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll try not to leave it so long before doing another one. And if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's it. Thanks for watching.